Wolverines! Oh, you want some? Hey! <laughs> you answer me! Hold me back. There's some fing smart ass over there on the other side. <laughs> on the map and it was like winding it and looked like, like windy oh, high really desert boring through shitty stupid. cities and I was like man f*** that <laughs> how neat is that So, uh, Matt started climbing, you know, a while back, and he started doing it, and we started talking about what this kind of means, why he was doing it, and what it meant to me, and uh, you know, like the mountain climbing, you know, if it's hiking up a mountain, if it's climbing a mountain, what that means. There's a, there's an overall goal, right? The goal is to get to the top, um, which is a large goal, and you're gonna have to do a lot of work from here to there to get there. But you can't be looking up there uh, or the summit when you're trying to climb, right? Like yeah. that's that's not going to work. If if you're not focusing on what you have in your workspace and what you have, the, the immediate step to take, the next step to get to the overall goal. If you're if you're focusing on if you if you're distracted or you're focusing on the big picture, and you're not looking at your workspace and looking at the next handle, the next the next thing that you have to get to, you're going to miss that. You're going to you're going to miss you know misstep and miss your mark and you're gonna fall you know and that's okay that's why we have you know we have a network we have we have a buddy that's gonna catch us and we you know and that happens you're gonna, you're gonna shake it off you're gonna fall you shake it off you reassess and you get back on the wall you know and in my mind I'm thinking like this is like life you know we've got a goal if whether it's health whether it's recovery whether it's to get sober whether it's to fix a traumatic brain injury whether it's to get a job it doesn't matter but that's the goal, and then you know this is the work that you have to do to get there. And when we step, when we misstep, when we when we get distracted or we're not focusing or we get tired and we slip, our buddy catches us. We shake it out, reassess what's going on, and we get back in there so that we can get up up the wall. You know, and that's the reason why I'm just starting to do this mountain stuff and doing it because it's it's not just the physical aspect; it's more of the you know, it's the mental and everything of overcoming and, you know, just one step in front of the other. You know, I'm not, I'm, I, that, I know that I'm going to get there, but what I'm focusing on is putting my left foot in front of my right and my right foot in front of my left to get there. Anyways, and the other thing was, you know, somebody said that, you know, I'm not jacked up. It's not about, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I feel healthy. I, feel, I got things going for me. Um, yeah, but if, you know, that, this is, I don't think this is all about like people that are jacked up and, and that need therapy. I think that this is uh, something that we need to do even when we're good to gain more perspective, to network, you know, to grow. Because if we're not learning, if we're not growing, we're not doing more concepts. Like what, it, like you said the other day about, um, what was it? Being Matt? a whole person. A whole yeah, person. but it was uh, not being one or the other. Independent or dependent? Interdependent. Interdependent. There's options, you know what I mean? And, and 
coming together like this, you kind of gain those different perspectives that you weren't really thinking about before. And uh, so apart from just, you know, a, all of us coming out here to have a good time and laugh and joke and, and um, you know, eat mountain house meals and fart, uh, that's really what this is about, is kind of taking this, trying to figure out how this can relate to, how it can gain perspective and insight and then in my life. That's it. it. It also may have been a long time since you have put your life in somebody else's hands. Right. Or you have had somebody else's life in your hands. And when he was talking about not everybody's jacked up, if you have a buddy that may be going through some self-confidence issues or trust issues, to get them involved in an activity like this helps them break back through that. And I've seen some veterans with severe post-traumatic stress that this has been a game changer for them, confidence-wise, ability-wise. Because they're working with somebody. Yeah. yeah. On a physical thing that can you know, transpire to the mental, spiritual side as well. Anyways, thanks for coming. So it's about have fun get worked over <laughs> oh that was pretty neat it'd be the third time but that's pretty neat it's neat that's neat hey i'm repelling this is neat blood it's pretty neat <laughs> oh boy they say this crack will ruin your life literally crack you up that crack is pretty neat. I'll need is that. It's really neat. Super neat. He's got neat thighs too. Life ain't bad, is it? It's a Denver Bronco color with a blue and orange combo. Life's okay. Life's okay. <laughs>